Hey guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explorer video. We are also doing our 3D Thursday project, and today's project is intended to be made for a little one in your life. This is called the Prayer Rock Box. I did not come up with the idea, I just modified a little bit. So you can see it's just a little gable box. On the one side here, we're going to be using the Cricut markers to draw the words rock on with the rocks here. On that side is a little poem that kind of goes with the box. And I will have the whole file or the cut file on my blog so you guys can go there and download it. But inside the box is a rock, it's just sitting on a little bit of tissue paper. And the idea with the box and the rock is to help little ones learn to pray and learn to talk to God. And I think sometimes with little ones especially, it can be scary talking to God because they can't see who they're talking to. So maybe, you know, you guys can go to the park or in your garden and go to a little rock hut. They can pick out the perfect rock, bring it home, clean it. You know, they can paint it, you know, use markers on it, whatever they want to do. But they can also hold on to the rock for a little bit of comfort while they're talking to God. Um, you know, I think, I, I think prayer is very important in little ones. And I think this will also help them to think of others other than themselves. You know, put somebody else before their wants and needs. Um, just a really fun idea. Um, I know if you don't want to make the box like this with using the Cricut, I will share with you guys at the end of the video another way you can do it and kind of get the same idea. All right, let's go to the computer. We'll get started. All right, guys, at the computer, you want to go to Cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here, upper left-hand corner, where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Then enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you were logged in. I'm going to go over here and click on File, and then go down to My Projects because I already have the file saved. Click on Prayer Rock Box and give that a moment to load. And like I said, I'll have the whole file for this on my blog for you guys to go there and download it. And now you'll see what comes up. We have two box halves and then our white pieces here. I'm going to bring them down out of my way. The box came from Tags, Bags, Box of the More. It came in just like it, you know, it is here. I resized it to be 8 inches tall. So to cut the box out, you will need two pieces of cardstock, eight and a half by 11, one for each half of the box. To get, make this piece, I went to my left-hand side toolbar, inserted a shape, and I grabbed a square. And I wanted the square to fit inside the square marks here. And that's this piece here. And I wanted this piece also to be an even size cut. So if you click on it here and go to your edit panel, you will see it's two and three quarter by two and three quarter. And this is the same size piece. I made it an even size because I also cut pattern paper out for the side of the box on each one of these. And I wanted you know, me to cut them out myself on my trimmer. So you could just take any pattern paper you like and cut that to be two and three quarter by two and three quarter for um, each side of the box here. Now, if you want to resize the box, you can certainly do that. I'm going to share with you guys how to do that here. Take one side of the box and bring the other one over. You want to make sure they are lined up. Take your left mouse button across both pieces right click on them, then click on group. So now both halves of our box are grouped together. So if you want to resize it and make it be a larger box, you can just take it and drag it down. Now we're at 11 inches tall. Now you want to also resize these guys as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on them, move to front. And you want to, again, make sure they fit inside the square marks here. So if I bring this over, you can use the little um, arrow keys and resize it. But I'd also try to make this be an even size. Like this is 3.84. To cut out pattern paper, 3.84 might be kind of hard. So maybe play around with the sizing over here. Let's see if we can go four inches. I mean, four inches will fit. It'll almost be an exact fit on the box. So again, you can just take two pieces of paper that you like and cut that to be four by four or whatever size box you're using. I'm going to click on undo and go back to my original size box. But it's very easy to resize. Um, these pieces are attached, you know, so if you um, go to click on them and go to your layer panel, they are attached. You can go back and you can click on detach and change the font. You know, if you want to make it be a personal box, you can do, you know, Susie's rock box or whatever you like. But this is the plain file that I have. I'm going to go ahead and click on go, cut all these out, and we'll go to the table and put our box together. All right, guys, we are back. Everything cut out and used our markers on. I have my two box halves. I did score one of them already to save a little bit of time, but I'm going to go ahead and just gently finger press on the score marks first, then take my bone folder to crease them up. And if you don't want to use the marker, it does take a long time to have the marker write all those words out. 
Um, you can certainly not do that part and, you know, look on Google or Pinterest for a poem that will work. I, mean, I would have printed it out, but my printer has no ink in it. I'm patiently waiting, or trying to be patient, I'm waiting for my ink to get here. Should be here this Saturday, so we'll see. And you can, like I said, you can change it out. If you want to make it, you know, be personable, you can certainly change all that out if you want to. All right, we are good to go on our box. Now we're going to take, flip it over. We have the one box, the tab on the left. Take a glue that you like. I'm using the art glitter glue. You can, of course, use a score tape if you want to. And then bring this one over, and I just line up the score marks, top to bottom. Give it a little bit of rub. Flip it over the other way. Fold this one down. Again, put some more glue on that end. And then bring it over and line it up. I think we're good. Just double check it. Nope, we're not good. Take it this way. I'm just going to lining up the side of it with the score mark on the bottom. Now, before I go ahead and fully assemble the box, I do want to attach my pieces. So on the front, where the handle piece is, I want that to have my pattern paper. And I cut this to be, like I said, two and three quarter by two and three quarter. And this paper is from, um, this is just a Walmart black cardstock. And this paper that I'm using that looks kind of like rocks is from Stampin' Up. It is their um, Go Wild 6x6 paper. I flip it over and put the other part of that on, the other paper. And then plop that one on the front. Then we have our marker. I do also recommend using a fine marker because there's a lot of words and the letters are little. And I think if you use the regular thick marker, it would just be like a big old jumbled mess. All right, we have that one. And then this one over here. Now we're going to assemble the box. So we have our bottom. We have these two pieces, that, that piece right there. We're going to bring that in. Then these two little flaps are going to get tucked under like that. Okay, so grab that one, tuck it under, then bring this one and go under. I would also take a piece of cardstock to put on the bottom inside there just to reinforce your box. All right, then we're going to take some tissue paper. Turn it up, put it in there, and then put your rock on top. Really cute. I love the size of it. You know, you can sit on their on their bedside table at nighttime. But really, really cute. All right, now if you don't want to make this one, another option you can do, but the same idea, is to take a vegetable can. You know, you want to use a safety can over to cut the top of that off. I covered it with a pattern paper, um, and on here I used the markers again, and I wrote the words prayer pail. Then you can take some of the large um, craft sticks you've been working with or tongue depressors and write down people's names. So you can do mom, dad, you know, brothers, um, Joey, sister, Sarah, Aunt Stacy, Uncle Nick, what have you. And then, you know, the kids can decorate them up. So I have a few here, just for example, I don't want to use all my sticks, but you can see mom, dad, Uncle Nick, Aunt Stacy. You can take a little um, crop dial or a big bite, punch a hole, add ribbon, you know, all kinds of things you can do. And this can sit on their bedside table. At nighttime, they can pull out a stick here and say, okay, this is mom. What do you think, you know, mommy is struggling with or what does mommy need help with? And they, they, they you know, they're kids. They may say the funniest things, like mom needs help with cooking. Okay, well, let's talk to God and ask God to help mommy with cooking. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, like I said, I think prayer is important. And you know, this is a good, a good, you know, this is a good way to introduce prayer, um, helping them to um, ask for other people's help before they ask for their own help um, or other people's needs. Or you can do... Um, this one here. I personally like the little prayer rock, um, but either way is fine. Like I said, you can go to my blog, lovethatbug.com. I will have the file for this on there. But um, there you have it, guys. Today's um, a 3D Thursday. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.